Hello, everybody. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, March 15th. The Ides of March. And we'll be wearing them. Bryce Castillo, your pre-show great room, green room and navigator here. We're going to send you straight into the green room today. Um, because I've got some stuff I gotta do on the side. So we're gonna open up the green room and let let everybody know there that we're gonna be there in just one second. Hello, green room. Are you able to hear me? Nice. Uh, hello. It's brighter in the great room because of daylight savings time. That is right. Indeed. That is right. It's daylight savings time. Uh, welcome, everybody. We're back. We're doing a show again. Yep. It's uh, the first time in a couple weeks. Yep. Uh, for a mystery reason, you're going to find out during the show. <laughs> you're going to find no out No one knows. Lot about. We've kept it very secret yep. on why we didn't do a show last week. Yep. Uh, uh, we are joined by Bonnie Brushwood. Hello. Uh, Mike TV. Oh yeah, and of course, the the inimitable and invulnerable uh, <laughs> Brett Weaver. Hello, friends. Uh, guys, what what the hell's going on? What's going on in this this world of ours? Huh? Going crazy. <laughs> That's how we're starting yeah, this. What's starting going this on? Place? Yeah. What's yeah, going what on? We're, we're what's going, going on? on? That's what we're doing. Look, you want to fucking talk shit? You want to talk shit? We're trying to do a relax. This is the great room is where we, we get things That's going. That's right. Where we begin things. We didn't know we started at 11. You want me to start with a song and dance? A little soft shoe for you? <laughs> no, Big my fucking apologies. Fossey number? Okay. That's right. We can come in hot if you want. Yeah. I mean, seems like you're trying to. So I, I've been thinking about having a, out of going a bris. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I just like, 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 yo, you're like, so I was talking about, anyway, so that, that, that surgeon was in my colon. <laughs> Oh, it's are, oh, you are you aware of what this? a bris is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I tell you guys? Did I tell you guys about that time I was yeah. the amateur moil? Let yeah, me yeah, tell yeah, you, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. crazy. I was gonna say because yeah. if the if 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 he was in your colon, then that's an aggressive <laughs> bris. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. He's working. He's working from the inside out. That's the Irish Jewish bris. Uh, uh, and everyone was drunk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is close to St. Patrick's Day. Yep, next yeah. week. Is that yeah. it? St. Yep. Patrick's Day is next yep. week. In Ireland, they get off Thursday and Friday. But it's not the same thing out there, right? No. Like it's not like the frat boy shithead everybody drinks until they puke kind of thing, uh, like it is be, out here. Because I'm a manager of a team in Ireland, they they get two days off, and so that, that I was like, so what's it like? They're like. Mm. So it's, it's like President's Day? Is yeah, like, yeah, pretty like, much. Yeah, okay, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. 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 Why did it become like that out here, I wonder, like, where it became a total Cause, drinking cause, holiday? Because yeah. Americans are horrible. Well, I, 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 I mean, I well mean, that's not like... us being horrible. I mean, like, there's plenty of reasons why uh, Americans are bad, but that can't be one of them. An excuse for everybody to get together and drink seems harmless enough. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, why are you, why, why are you, why are you so sour about this? Uh, just, you know, it's just always take one stereotype and push it to extreme. And so that seems like what, uh, so the stereotype is. is that drunken, drunk people drunk a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But wait a minute. They, so then how is the Cinco de Mayo thing? Yeah. Is that just because we believe that Mexicans drink a lot? Because See, like, stereotypically, they don't drink as much as we think oh, Irish people drink. Go, you don't want me to go in on Cinco de Mayo. I, I do. Okay, first of all, Cinco de Mayo isn't even really celebrated that much in Mexico. Okay. Because it's not Mexican Independence Day. No. It's just the last time a foreign power uh, 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 attacked Mexico. But it's an American holiday. But it's become an American holiday because we've taken the stereotype and we've pushed it to the extreme. Wait, wait what do you mean I mean a stereotype? The, the stereotype... Oh, okay, see, this no, is just... I mean, our, no, I, like, I, I, well, let I, me I see. Think... Like, you know how the Mexicans do where they say, hey, buddy, get out of here, and then they <laughs> kick you. Ha! I, That's what I'm talking about. I think, I think Americans just want an excuse to, like, could to devote drink. an entire yes. day to drinking. Yeah. And they're like, let's just take some holiday that belongs to someone else and make it. I mean, at some point, I'm figuring Kwanzaa is going to become the drinking holiday, right? Like that's like it's just it's just one. Yeah. I mean, you just wait. You just see what Mother's Day is like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, we're Mother's, already doing brunch. Mother's Day has a drinking. Component, yeah, we're already right? doing brunch. Like Mother's Day has the the the, the mimosas. Yeah. The, what is the, 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 the brunch centric shit? Yeah. yeah. But they're not like mimosas. That's true. That's no, coming. But, all right, but I guess I guess here's I, yeah. here's here's my thing. If if we don't assume 
there is I, I certainly see where you're coming from that like the idea of these are drinking cultures and we are importing an element of that drinking culture for that one day. Yes. But even then, is that like offensive? Like it's not like everybody has to do an Irish accent, like or anything, or not a Mexican anymore. accent. <laughs> that would be great. If it's like presidents had to do it, yeah. like, like they had to like like take, so, take, take, take a shot at Jameson and Woodrow Wilson's like, hey, ta 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 Maybe I'm orange. I don't know. Did you know uh, uh, St. Patty's Day is coming up? Next week. Let's uh, have Irish car bombs. Wait, 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 no, is I immediately bad. look down for what green I'm wearing. <laughs> Otherwise, we're all going to start pinching. <laughs> I got kicked out of a bar in Boston once for ordering an Irish car bomb. Really? They did not really? take that shit fucking kindly. Well, oh, wow. probably yeah. because they yeah. had seen them. Probably because they were yeah. literally Irish. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Had witnessed like, car bombs. Like, they were like, you're you know out what of that here. means? Yeah. 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 You can order. How long a... until. They, um, I was just trying to think of one drink that I haven't seen yet. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> How far do I? Uh, is it is so it something that you would be I, 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 that you would be, Mister? I, I, I have no idea what you're talking come on, about. Come on, Mister. Get it out. Uh, get it out. Uh, um, what would the 911 uh, drink be? <laughs> no, 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 no. Be, uh, first, oh, it would be an aviation, <laughs> <laughs> an aviation gin, <laughs> an aviation. Uh, <laughs> so wait, so gin and juice, right? So maybe like a a half juice. And, well, and the, you drop the, a the gin thing about the aviation in. cocktail you gotta use is an that airplane it's, it's bottle of vodka. Yeah, there's a, there's yeah that's a, why we said aviation. Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought aviation gin. No, no, no. I, I meant the cocktail what in is, aviation. What is what is the cocktail? Uh, like, well, it's got uh, lavender as the liqueur in it, so mm. it's got the bluest skies. <laughs> it's I, I mean, seriously. That's why it's named that. I'm I'm, I'm not even joking. But it's wow. got to be a shooting thing, right? If it's gonna be like a car bomb. Yeah, you there put, has to be uh, some fire component. Uh, uh, two sticks of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe a stacked fireball. thing that then yeah, 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 yeah. It's a stacked thing, and you light it on fire, and then it goes down. And then for whatever know. reason, that was the thing. Yeah, that for made some it reason, offensive. now I'm offended. <laughs> yeah, but like, 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 I was, 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 was almost into it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, because no one's like, I go oh, an Irish car bomb is just <laughs> shit that's Irish, right? It's just like a Guinness and and James and Bailey's. Bailey's isn't Irish, is it? Or is it? I okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, it's all Irish. What would a Tower Seven be? Yeah, <laughs> that's a drink that uh, everybody. It's in a tall glass, and they just push it over. Someone, someone drinks, but no one knows why. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Tower Seven. It's the bro. last. It's actually the last drink you drink because you have all the other ones, and then about thirty minutes later. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh. You guys yes. talk oh, more than this is why you guys talk more still, than I do. It's I still think. a little too soon. Twenty years hence, it's still a little yeah, too soon. Maybe Bailey's is English. They're saying. Yeah. Oh, Bailey's is English. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, sure. Only makes it worse. Oh. Uh, <laughs> by the way, shout out to Ev Lloyd uh, uh, going through uh, uh, a bunch of stuff, but our thoughts are with you, man. Uh, oh, and I, I think we owe uh, a special thing. Yeah. To Ev. Okay. All right. I don't remember what it was, but huh? you sent me a text about it. Yes. Okay. I did. Cool. And we talked about it. Yeah. Yes. Anyways. We love you, Ev. We love you, Ev. We love you, Ev. We love you, Tez. Yeah. Uh, and Blurch. And, and Blurch. Shouts out to Blurch. Mostly Blurch, but yeah. but but also but also you guys as well. Oh my God, she's so cute. I've got to learn she's all of these people. Blurch and yeah. be Blurch. She is. She's all. I don't know. She's a. So Ev, Ev and Tez are are uh, uh, great, great, great humans that listen down in Australia, oh, and yeah. they had a beautiful baby that, uh, as we were tracking the the baby being born, was referred to colloquially as Blurch. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't remember yes, why it was Blurch. Yes. Uh, I, 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 I can remember which of the two of us picked that name. <laughs> <laughs> But also, Ev was Ev was one of our very first uh, 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 true tribal all stars, getting a uh, giant uh, diamond club tattoo across his neck. Wow, wow. which was yeah. Yeah. super metal. Oh, Absolutely, oh, yeah. Yeah. awesome. Well, no, Babcat says it was a uh, 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 Bailey's Irish cream. All right, whatever, man. Okay. Fucking who? Who knows? All I'm saying is that like. 
I guess uh, I'm not gonna go into what a 9/11 cocktail was. <laughs> whatever. Why would I uh, go back? The, Wait, we were out. We were out. Uh, this is, I, this is real back. life. Ready. Why would I go back? This I is real ready. life yeah. comedy blue screen because he just said he just ran subroutine, returned to the point, realized what the point was, oh, and just goes and just fucking Grandpa Simpson and fucking like. How'd he go? I'm gonna leave. Why? Why did I go back to what the 9-11 cocktail would be? Right. Uh, uh, two Manhattans mixed together. Uh, no, all right. You stop, stop it. Stop, stop no. it. Stop it. Let's yeah. talk stop about... It. Apparently, I'll never <laughs> forget. Well, Good for you. Uh, yeah. You don't necessarily you and need to spend this, this holiday drinking. The St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. What yeah. what should we do? You should go to an art show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Art re- show. Wait, are there art show. Are there art shows Everybody's going on right going now? Going to there an art are. show. There is a show at the Doherty Art Center on Thursday from 7 to 9 is the reception and you can drink there if you want. So I I just like to uh, add Wait, wait, did we did we did 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 the did the the sponsor come through? The sponsor came through. I was so excited to have a sponsor. Who's your sponsor? <laughs> Can we actually talk about this? Yes. That that this is a very uniquely funny thing. <laughs> Uh, well, and, and I'll trace its roots even farther back. I know, yeah. I know where this comes from. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, so no, 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 no. So all right. Uh, 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 let Let's first get the the date and time out. Uh, yeah. This yeah. Thursday, okay. yeah, this Thursday, which is two nineteenth. Yeah. So it'll it's from seven to nine p.m. and in uh, Austin. In Austin. Yeah, South it's right Austin, down right on Barton yeah, Springs. Yeah, right in Barton Springs. Yes, and uh, there's the Palmer Event Center right next door to park yeah. if you're looking for parking. Yeah. And then and then it's going to be and then for those people that can't make it on Thursday, right. it'll be it'll be all month, right? Or, right, or right, yeah, right. yeah, that's great. Yeah, so that's exactly going month. on now, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, and it's uh, oh, 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 by the way, by the way, yeah. Bonnie's art, Bonnie's yeah. art. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about an event that is highlighting Bonnie's art and pottery and, and, and they, amazing stuff. The pieces yes. look amazing. Yeah, I do have to say, I, I've, caught, yeah, I've, been, I've been following on Instagram. They really look spectacular. Thank super, super you. cool. So, so well, we will yeah. be there Thursday. Yeah. Yep. Uh, hopefully a lot of people will be there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Last time, Bonnie was like, oh, I don't know. I'm going to do this storytelling thing. I hope some people show up. Two-thirds of the audience were just there for Bonnie. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, uh, which, which, by the way, I didn't realize until we all left to the same bar. <laughs> Uh, the entire audience got up and was like, I guess we're all together because we're all here to see Bonnie. Uh, so uh, let's uh, uh, sponsoring the event will be Twisted X Brewery and yes. specifically, specifically the McConaughey's oh, beer. That's so awesome. Yeah. Which is yeah. like the unofficial so beer of Great Night. Yeah. Uh, so, Brian. Yeah. I was like, man, that's amazing. What other like visual artist has a beer sponsor for her, her <laughs> like event that's so fucking metal? Yeah. Uh, and then you revealed to me <laughs> the ancestral reason why <laughs> this was just uh, the perfect body thing. Now that my reason was wrong, there was there was more context. There's there's something primal about uh, uh, Bonnie's dad. Uh, ran a Luby's cafeteria for mm. a long time. Really? Uh, and uh, he would, he was, uh, part of the reason he was so successful is because he would hire somebody to fix the broken dishwasher. And then while other people would say, like, just let me know when you're done, he would just sit and watch and ask, <laughs> so what's that? What's that? Okay. Yeah. What's that? What's that? Right? Bonnie's dad. Loves free shit, <laughs> and Bonnie has inherited the trait in a big, big way. I don't know, and also it just feels like you know if, if you're sponsored, then you've got this endorsement. Mm-hmm. So it just feels bigger somehow. Yeah. So I really like it. But oh, it the might- best part of any kind of fame is free shit. Oh yeah. yeah. Like that was a, there's there's a great Tony Kornheiser quote that the only reason to be famous is to on one hand either. Benefit your friends and smite your enemies, mm-hmm. and to get a good table at a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of not worth it. Those two things 
primally will always be the reason why. And and you getting free fucking beer and having a sponsor. Uh, okay, so, so okay, now here's what's amazing is uh, I've heard the word sponsorship, I've heard the words twisted decks, I've heard the words McConaughey's, I've not heard the word free. Oh yeah, yeah, totally free. So they're giving they asked us how, how much are we charging then? Oh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're hustling. We're hustling. Wait, there's got to be a vegan yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, Come yeah. on, look, <laughs> it's free, but you do need a twenty dollar license that yeah. we are selling. Yeah. So to join the club, exactly. The club. You do need a wristband. Yeah, you do need a wristband. <laughs> so so, just so uh, the, the, suggested donation fifty dollars. I, I felt like <laughs> the little detail that I got to add in that that solidified it. it was like, oh man, we're a big fan. We're hoping you know you'd sponsor this event, and I got to say, my my friends love your beer. They especially thought it was hilarious that you had a wrapper around another. They got it. Oh, you yeah. called him out. So I was just like, we thought that was hilarious. Did they get so. excited about that? Well, I, I got the sponsorship. Yeah, so okay. I, I was hoping like, they'd be like, that, oh, you found that out. No, but that's that's like like saying like again, you know, as a musician, that's like dropping the one little nugget of like, oh, I saw you guys when you were doing blank, and you're like, yeah. oh shit, we were just getting started. Yeah. Yeah. These yeah. people yeah. fucking saw an early show. Yeah. They're hardcore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, and then the nice thing is that, um, and they were cool with it because we do have another sponsor, um, East Siders is sponsoring. Oh, great. So, so they, if you Good don't did, beer, did you, you do that one too? No, somebody else. Um, I mean, maybe cider. Yeah. Yeah. Cider. Hey. Hey. cider. Hey. East Siders hey. versus no, 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 West no, I'm Siders. Saying, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying for I'll take like, the East Siders you don't brand. want. Sure. <laughs> like, I'm saying for her brand, like, uh, a cider sponsor, much more common, one might think, yeah. at, at an art installation. Yeah. yeah. An IPA sponsor? Yes. Rare. Yeah. yeah. I know. That's true. I was yeah, thinking amen. about you. I was like, man, Justin. Justin's going to be there. Right. Justin will be there. Okay. <laughs> now, but here's, but here's, here's the thing that uh, 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 Brian's point came home to roost when you uh, texted me and you're like, like, I got a beer sponsor. It's McConaughey's. They're going to give us beer. And then the last thing in the text was, and we get to keep what they don't drink. (laughs) 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 So Bonnie is is her father's daughter. (laughs) Confirmed. This is indeed an amazing moment of prestige, but also free shit. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and, and as people show up, they're like, there's beer. Yeah, there's one. You can have one beer. Yeah. Have yeah. one beer. Why? Because we're stocking up for the there's winter. There's also cider. Grab the cider. Yeah. Grab a cider. <laughs> Everybody should drink cider there, uh, I think. Anyways. Yeah. So, fun stuff. Are you excited? excited? I am. Are you nervous? Uh, I was nervous because I wasn't sure if I was going to get good to go or not. Mm. Oh, because oh, yeah. of the COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, so we'll be talking about that. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, well, I guess you you can share your story now. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, we're going to talk COVID in in the the yeah the A in block, the co room. Yeah. But if you have if you have any COVID uh, COVID tales that you'd yeah. like to tell here, Bonnie, just, you are more than welcome. I just have welcome. a little song. What a little song? I do. What is it? Sugar glider. I'm not even angry. (laughs) (laughs) I'm being so sincere right now. (laughs) Even though you killed me. (laughs) You tore me to pieces. Pieces And threw the wall. (laughs) You threw me in the fire. I'm getting it all wrong. I'm listening. No, no, no. (laughs) But I'm just trying to figure out, like, to whom are you singing right now? Oh me, Justin. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I get it. Now. I got everybody sick with COVID. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, yeah. but yeah, okay, yeah. All right, me. All right, yeah. got it. Yeah. I was like, I'm wow. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Really? No, no, no. Yeah. Me, I'm the. Uh, got it. I'm the dog I'm the guy who brought the curse you're, you're, to you're, the village. Yeah, you're yeah. you're the cron contagion. Yeah, I'm the cron contagion. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. No, I was legit terrified that you were mad. <laughs> Oh, uh, I was I was legit terrified, yeah. mostly because it started to, to affect the kids. Oh, and yeah. as soon as that happened, it's like me oh, getting you oh, sick. Shit. I can apologize to you as yeah. soon as yeah, the Penny's birthday gets ruined and shit like that. Then I'm like, ah, fuck, I'm 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 deep into debt now. <laughs> nah, you have had so much credit though that that I realized I was like, oh my god, because none of you guys can do this. <laughs> I think Justin is the only yeah. one that can. True. Do that. Yeah. No, no, I'm just kidding. 
But uh, it's been. She's not. It's been, well, yeah, okay. Bonnie's in full. She's not. There was a lot of shit. But. I'm breathing a sigh of relief. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I just, I, I just realized that I was just like, oh man, how'd this happen? And I'm like, and I kept trying to get angry, and I was just like, no, can't get angry. Shit happens, and I'm just not, not worried about it. Good answer. Yeah. Good, yeah. answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Hold on, counselor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. But then meanwhile, Penny has, you know, so her birthday totally was yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. fucked. So she turned into an adult and we're like, Congratulations, you're an adult and um now deal with it. So Yeah. I mean, you wanna know what I realized when, when yeah. uh, she turned eighteen? The, the thing that I did when I was eighteen was buy cigarettes and she can't even buy cigarettes now because it's twenty one. Oh it is? is it? Yeah. I bought it pornography. Really? Oh, I also bought a, a, a <laughs> Copy of Black Tail magazine. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I got uh, yeah. uh, Gallery, the girl next door. Yeah. They're basically the same chicks as as uh, Playboy, but with hemorrhoids. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They get them. They got them. Oh, <laughs> they, got, they, 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 they got a scratch and dent version. Oh, uh, so I had a beer on my 18th birthday. Oh, you. Now on my 19th birthday, I couldn't have a beer. But on my 20th birthday, yeah. I couldn't have a beer. When I was 21, I could have a beer. Yeah. Oh, because you were in, in... No, I was in Texas. This oh, was yeah. right when the it, the year I turned 18, the next year, the uh, it moved to 21. Oh, That's right. some and bullshit. They and they didn't grandfather it. Yeah. That, so I was yeah. a bartender. I started bartending at that time. Oh, my and God. And I couldn't drink. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Bon, yeah. uh, uh, did you turn off your mic? We're getting some questions on whether or not your mic's on. Looks like, no, it's it looks great. Like, I mean, yeah, okay. It looks like it's on. Yeah. Hello? There you go. There okay. it is. There it is. So, um, my 21st, I was, I mean, because I was in San Marcos. Sure. And uh, at some point, I had procured a fake ID. And not wise, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. But I didn't go to the, the little bar down there, like, uh, blue, uh, blue's only green or something. Yeah, that's right. And then, and so I was the green there parrot. my entire college career. And then I turned 21 and I walk in and I'm like, so it's my birthday. And then the guy at the bar who had been like, you know, I knew serving people, you yeah, this yeah, whole yeah. time. This thing, and they're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I go, yeah. Well, my real name's Bonnie, but like, ah, you know, geez. And then, like they go, what the? Yeah, fuck? I got kicked out. Get out! Oh, yes. my well, you can't rub out. it in their face, yeah. Bob. Jesus. Uh, well, and, and, I thought that's they were true. all in on it. Uh, I, thought <laughs> I thought they were like, wink. And here's the thing. No, they, they are as long as you still play the game. Well. As if you walk in and you're like, we're all corrupt here, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that's, that's where you fuck it up. You might as well have. Uh, I'm 21 today. My real name is Bonnie. I guess, I guess if you just added, added it and again, then they'd be like, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, so so here. Bonnie goes off to college, yeah. and one year later she comes back, and the family is at a restaurant or whatever, and she's pouring iced tea uh, just right down the rim of, of the glass. And then there's this awkward pause, and her dad says, it's not going to foam, girl. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Trying to keep a head off of that thing, I can tell. Yeah. You've done this before. (laughs) Curtis LaRock says, I went out drinking when I was 18 because we were trying to find the places that didn't card. But yeah, but you're in New York City. Like, oh, on my, yeah. on my like carding doesn't exist in New York City if you just walk in yeah, and order something yeah. confidently. On, on my 21st birthday, I, I was taken to Vegas. I went to Vegas, and um, and, and my buddy, the like the there's a bunch of guys from Universal. We all we all went to Vegas and we we're having a great time. And so they're like, hey, let's teach you how to gamble. So we go to play craps. And there's some and so so there's and there's just one guy. This this like high roller has a whole table to himself. So my buddies are sitting there explaining the game to me as I'm watching. And he's like, and so and so the guy goes, oh, he's never he's never gambled before. And we're like, no. He's he's like he's like, hey, virgin, get out there. So. He gives me the dice. Now he, this guy has like thirty or forty thousand dollars on the table, oh. and, and like I establish a point, I roll and it's like a six. 
roll immediately seven. And he just looks at me like I just lost the guy like thirty thousand dollars. And for my, you know, he's like he looks at me, he just goes he, he, like he, I see you just like, kind of like and he looks at me and goes happy birthday. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. So bad. <laughs> uh, well, he was a high roller. Yeah, so. yeah, no, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm certain that. I mean, yeah, but he, the, the chips he had, they were all like thousand dollar chips. And right. it was like, yeah. But even so, but it was it was a lot of money, you know. And I was like, oh well, it's a lot of hoops. That's, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, this is a really crazy game. Yeah. I would like to try this. <laughs> oh. That is a crazy game because I don't think there's anything else that has quite the pageantry of judgment of human emotion as craps mm. does. Yeah, you're, you were you're people. It's literally you are just. The, the person for which is hitting the, the, the button on the random number generator. Yes. And yet you are like the, a, a god or goddess or like the a literal thief yeah, who yeah. just and, mugged and, me for money. Right. And like, you, and, and there's there's no in between. Yeah, and it's crazy because when you're doing well, the entire, like, it's, it's everybody's the entire, doing well. The entire place, like, the entire place is celebrating. People are like trying to cram it on the table, and it's like, they're like, you're amazing. I mean, like, and, and even like, the croupiers, they, they want yeah, you yeah, to, oh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck, and they'll, yeah. they'll block the patch on the back, and oh my God, that was amazing. Like, all right. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. You're doing That's great. You're doing great. That's my skill. I'm going to make you my vice president. Like, there's just, it's fucking, and then you hit one dumb thing, and it's like, yeah. boo, get yeah, out yeah, of yeah. here. An it's, old a janitor sweeping up behind you. When, like, when I was in, <laughs> when I was in Aruba uh, to visit Doug, uh, the guy who's come to the show, uh, and this was the week after Ek and I had our first kiss. So and I went to Aruba Aww. and so I put that in the cannon. Yeah, there we We're go. We're building a cannon. So uh, uh, I had never played craps before, yep. and so I went by myself to one of the casinos there and did the uh, played all the different games and got to that. And it was just me and the 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 dealer or the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I said I've never played this game before. Teach me, could you show me how to do it? And he's like, yeah. And I go, what's the minimum bid? And he said, uh, f- uh, $5. I was like, okay. So put $5 down. And I was like, hey, what am I supposed to do? He goes, well, you roll. And he goes, if you win, it's 7 or 11, you, you win. You win right off the case. Yeah. Yeah. You win right off the case. If the, anything else, you got to roll that again and not hit 7 or 11. Uh, uh, and you I win. should learn this game. So so I rolled and uh, and six. It was six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And rolled, rolled, rolled six. Cool. Gives me ten bucks. Cool. So I take the five dollars and put it in my pocket. I'm like, so I can do that again. And I'm like, yeah. So he put it and I rolled. And he's not counseling. You should buy the odds. He's not showing the other game. Okay. No, he was just. Yeah, we're yeah, just yeah. figuring it out. I get up to to twenty dollars. I'm like, cool. And I put all of it down. And then I roll and I lose. And I lose all the money. I'm like, okay. And he goes, well, you still got that five dollars. I go, yeah, I'm good. And I walked off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I I remember people say, don't play. Play with other people's money. Don't play with your own money. Well, it's fun as that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, what are you? What are you doing? What are you a fucking mutual fund? Yep. Like, you know. Yep. Play with somebody else. I, I usually, no, usually spend what I do your money when I go ridiculously. To, That's yeah. fucking the point of when gambling. I, yeah, when I go to Vegas, I will, I will I'll leave like two hundred dollars a day for gambling, and I'll be like, "This is already lost. I, like, it's just lost." And yeah. so that way, I don't have to worry about it. So sometimes I can be like, "I'm going to do a crazy bet," and it doesn't matter because I, I already consider it gone. You know? Right. Mm. And and oh, what is it? <laughs> what is this? Is this from yes. Asshole Blackjack? Of course. It is. Yeah. No, that's the problem is that, uh, uh, and this is telling because Brian and I are going back to Vegas in a couple days. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, uh, I can't, no. I, I'm more like you <laughs> yes. in that if I, I probably won't leave with like $5, like I, I will, I will go all in and lose $5. Yeah, yeah, but if yeah. I get up any amount of money that I would consider to be an interesting bar tab, I will fucking walk. Yeah, like yeah, if I, I get up a hundred, I am taking a hundred and I am walking. I'm yeah. pretty. I'm pretty much the same. You are not. You are literally <laughs> the exact opposite of that. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Brian is either like I am going to uh, 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 have a great story when I introduce people to my new house that I bought yeah, with yeah, gambling yeah, winning yeah, sure. at one fucking hot moment on the table, or none of this is worth it. And and we like if, if you have five hundred, then we. Need 
need to bet all of it because it could be 50,000. Yeah. And yeah. that would be the story. I've had too many 500 days. I need the 50,000 day on my on my bingo card of life. And so like I get a 500 and I'm like, I don't know, man. I really could use some chicken fingers. What do you say? Yeah. Leave the table. I'm fucking I'm Morty. Uh, 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 and then Rick over here is like, like, shut up. Here we go. We're all in. Like yeah. I'm splitting on fucking three. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I split on threes. Because no. <laughs> <laughs> well, then the That's other great. thing is that Brian's addicted to the fact that we do improv at the table and just ruin the fucking days of the worst people on the planet, which is our people who take blackjack too seriously. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Or, or, so or, or actively even ruining worse, their the, days. Uh, the 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 living wage paid uh, fine individuals who are actually trying to run this. And they're like, what are you doing, guy? You know, like I've tried to give you advice. You know, it's like you should. You should hit, like, you, you have 19, yeah. you should stop. And I'm like, hmm, seems like a very bad idea would be to double down. Yeah. And they're like, you don't double down on a 19 oh, with no, a 15 no, challenge. I, just, I was like, yeah. I don't know. It just oh seems like the God. worst possible idea I could do. It's like, yes, yeah, $40, now you're at $80. I was like, I think I'm going to double down. <laughs> and they're very upset. And then everyone gets very, very oh, yeah. upset oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. when I yeah. get a yeah. two. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah cause if that, like, that's, that's like having like it's like having the person next to you has 18, the dealer's showing 19, and you and you draw a three and another three. You, you break on a three, and they're like, they're like, they're like you, and you drew on 20 or something. Like, ah! Like, no, they, we, they would we lose have chased people like, away. Yeah. We, have, we have chased people away being dickheads. Wealthier and, like, people yeah, than yeah, us. Yeah, that's crazy. Far <laughs> wealthier people just because we were being assholes. And, and I have no... No remorse because they are the meanest motherfuckers that will yeah, be well, dickheads to people that don't know how to play blackjack. It should be sure. a fun thing. Yes, it is money, sure. but guess what? We're all fucking losing it. And, and like, you're, you're you're choosing to play a game that's communal, where the where the where the cards are impacted by with the person next to you. So why are you sitting on the you know why are you sitting to the right of somebody? You know, like like you know just, just get, whatever. I, yeah. and, and I get it. They, they can also get up and leave the table. Yeah, and that's that's yeah. their right. All right, and is to be they do, dickheads. and they do. <laughs> and they do. <laughs> no, that, that is. Uh, uh, which we don't need to tell the whole story again, but that was the yeah. last time we were in Vegas. Uh, so they're uh, going again. Brian's Brian's uh, uh, asshole blackjack run of uh, the, the the catchphrase became uh, one more baldest wager <laughs> as, he, as he pushed in all of his ill-gotten gains from being a dickhead, like into it, and then doubled down and split on the dumbest think, shit. But he like, was winning. Cause that, cause that, but he was, he was but you were winning. Well, that, that's, winning. That's awesome. And, that is yeah. awesome. Because well, no, it all came through, which yeah. became funnier and funnier yeah. and funnier. Yeah. That is, that's, that's, uh, that's literally... Anything? No, you fucking, like, no, the, I came home with, like, uh, like the, over a thousand dollars. Over a thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's yeah. awesome. That's great. Yeah, no, that, and it was on the dumbest shit. Yeah. The literal dumbest shit. Yeah, that's and it was mostly mostly but to make me and Ali Spector laugh. Truly, there's something wonderful about that. Yeah, to right. where that you know that I, I know that sometimes doing the stupidest shit can still turn out okay for somebody. That that makes me a little bit happy. Like like they would have a ten showing and I would get dealt a five and I would say I'll double down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh and then they'd bust, but it was yes. great. Because <laughs> statistically, that can happen too. <laughs> and sometimes it does. That's so great. That's so great. Oh, jeez. Uh, lots of ways of being an asshole involve, don't involve fucking with people's money. Hey, we're all playing the same game. <laughs> yeah, Everybody's yeah. playing the same uh, game. We, yeah. we Nobody's agree. fucking with anybody else's money. Uh, also, we agree, and we would like to take your message to the casinos. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> they kind of built a city on it. Yeah. The one time we were doing, just doing more improv and, like, bullshitting, and annoying people was the time uh, that ended because I was in back pain. Uh, oh, Jesus my, Christ, my, that was so funny. This is like eleven in the morning. We're, <laughs> we're trying to summon the 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 magic, right? Because when it's funny, it's funny. But you never know. Like like we're the only people who who don't do improv in theaters, <laughs> right? We're doing we it at the Blackjack table. Exclusively do it at Blackjack table for strangers who don't want to hear yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> they are a They're captured like, what are they audience. Doing? Uh, let's just say we didn't win much money not many people laugh <laughs> and at one point somebody leaned over and says sir i think you dropped these and picked up a bottle of percocet <laughs> <laughs> 
That is epic. That is epic. That is amazing. That is, amazing. That, that is the one time that we truly admitted defeat. We're like, we bid you a fond adieu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I grabbed my Miller Lite at 11.30 in the morning <laughs> and we bid a hasty like retreat. <laughs> Wipe that scene. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> That is awesome. Uh, that is yeah, epic. five but minutes. Anyway, five minutes, uh, Graham. Five minutes. So yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Graham. If you control. are, uh, thank you five. If you're, if you're, if you're on the Orleans blackjack tables this weekend. Ew. <laughs> Our new pop-up improv uh, uh, act is Look for two guys to town. <laughs> Look for two guys with mustaches on top of their mustaches. <laughs> Actually, mustaches. that would be pretty epic. Yeah, to, is, to, is to just follow you guys, like just have incognito. a group of people follow you guys around, just appreciating the taking the humor. Well, it really is. It, it, it's it's funny when the best part is when you do have a crew and everybody's yeah. kind of going and they're taking up all the seats, or you have like one person that is having a good time too. That yeah. like all of a sudden the yeah. circus comes to town and it's a great time. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, that's why. That's why. Although I, like, I do enjoy annoying people who take it too seriously. Yeah, that yeah, is something yeah, that yeah, I really yeah. like. Hey, man, there's a science to this. It's like, yes, it's what built this pyramid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also it's like, like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to like. Earn money the shittiest and dumbest way possible. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to throw it into a maybe I get more money incinerator, yeah, and most yeah. of the time it burns up. Yeah. <laughs> and every once in a while, more money flies out. Isn't that funny? Yeah. But you might as well have a good time doing it. Yes. I'm glad you guys don't go to Vegas very often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. That's that's uh, uh we're gonna be in Vegas a little bit over the next uh, next few months. Oh really? Oh yeah. Just repeat. Oh yeah. Well, uh, what, what? yeah. Scoop Fest comes after yeah. this. This was supposed to be shit that was happening a week and a half ago. Right. Uh, because we were we're gonna do ice cream social. Yep. And then uh, we're probably not going to mention the other thing, right? Uh, 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 well, yeah, th there are no. three, three or four very significant opportunities we had in Vegas. Yes. Um, One we can't talk about at all. Correct. One we can hint that people could There's figure out. Podcast that is friendly with Matt Donnelly. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, 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 and then we were going to go to Phoenix for uh, another thing we can't talk about. Yeah. Oh, but would have been cool. There were two things you weren't going to talk about. Well, huh? one of them. There's dumb. I don't it's know. It's a whatever. federal matter. Yeah, yeah, it was a federal thing. Yeah. It's yeah. federally. I knew that. Yeah. But then the other thing, I don't know what it is, but maybe. You do. Okay. Brian's almost certainly told you. But okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, might, he might not have put pen to paper, but like he probably told you. I've, okay. Yeah, I've, I've told her a few times. It's probably. Fine. It's fine. Yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, Forty-eight hours from now, your show opens. Project well, forward. Yeah. yeah. It's, Where's it's your head headspace? If you're downtown, you can see it now. You just walk by. It's there. Go inside. Awesome. Write something nice and a little. Hey. I came in off the street to see these beautiful pictures. I heard that there were Bronnie Brushwood showing showing yeah, here. Yeah. I'd like to see those. Exactly. Do you guys actually have them? You really, the Bronnie Brushwood, it, really? That's, if you're that's at awesome. Peter Pan, if you're uh, uh, t doing drunken golf over at Peter yes. Pan, instead of driving out, drunkenly walk across the street underneath the the uh, train track and go into Doherty, where yeah. you can see Bonnie's awesome. artwork. Also, you can pee in there. They have a bathroom. They do. <laughs> I was going to say, they, they, do, they, do have, they do have a lot of pictures. There's a bathroom. Use the bathroom. Use the bathroom. Yeah. Use the bathroom. Um, yeah. I will say, also, I don't know when that food truck is open, but one of our favorite food trucks, Biscuits and Groovy, is right next to it. That does biscuits and gravy. Oh, yeah, It's cool. fucking really, really good. And awesome. they do good vegan shit, too. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. I have a place for you, but we won't talk about it here. We don't need to talk about it. Why not, not here? Because not here. Uh, oh, is it secret? Yeah, but we yeah. get single. Got to keep right? the uh, got a guy. Got a guy. Yeah. Brett nice. has a guy. That's right. Hey, so it looks like somebody's asking about your Instagram, Bonnie. Oh yeah, it's my name, Bonnie Brushwood. Instagram. And we should probably. Instagram. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Brushwood. We'll send it back. Uh, 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 Mission Control. Mission Control. That's right. Hello. There. Yes. Hello. Oh, right. please take us. Take right. us away. Thank you so away. much, Green Room. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the pre-show. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, don't look at that. Oh, don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's not. That's just time to go. Time to go. The stream. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Green Room, uh, Great Room pre-show thing. Hi, Corey. Hey, what, what's happening, everybody? And let's do a little bit of birthdays very quickly. Oh, 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 oh. You remembered. I'm excited. That's right. Uh, we were gone last week, so we're going to do 
uh, we're, we're going to catch up from the ones we missed last week, uh, including Gray, uh, who uh, says, uh, I was excited to put my birthday here, and then my house flooded, and I lost all my shit, and then I fucking forgot. So don't mention my birthday was two Tuesdays ago, but do mention Amanda, my wife's birthday, was last Wednesday. Those are, those are great times right there. Yeah. Uh, also, G. James uh, uh, had a birthday on March 11th. Happy birthday, G. James. Uh, and uh, they also say that the S.H.I.E.L.D. finale was amazing. So, really? Uh, there you go. Check in on the S.H.I.E.L.D. watch. Thank you so much, G. James, and everybody who puts uh, puts your birthdays. Oh. It's not a birthday. Yeah, what's up? Uh, ha- happy 10-year anniversary, husband man. Ooh. A couple days ago. Ooh, happy 10. 19 years total. 19 years. That's, married. that's incredible. Oh. No, that's oh. incredible. That's all. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Happy anniversary, everybody. Uh, specifically to Annalisa and Kira. Uh, all right. Uh, hi, hi hey. Corey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, uh, it's time for a little critical racing theory. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited, too. This is uh, our final uh, our final uh, mini episode of this show before uh, the new F1 season we begins. Start. That's right. It starts this weekend in Bahrain. We've... Uh, did you catch any of the testing last week? Oh yeah, I caught because I was sick. I caught basically <laughs> all, of all, it. Of it, yeah. <laughs> all of it. All uh, of it. It's funny how that testing is basically like an eight-hour podcast. It is because <laughs> even even the commentators are like, hey, we could talk about what any and whatever. They're not gonna. <laughs> I, I got a lot of give time them credit because, mm-hmm. as you know, sitting in front of Mike uh, and then sitting when, in front of her for eight hours when not a lot is going on, nothing is happening. Yeah. Um, uh, so that, 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 that happened. And so now that we've seen the testing, uh, we're finishing up Chris's F1 predictions game. Uh, the last list that we had to do was our, uh, the top 10 racers plus the last place racer okay. predictions for the season. So let's, uh, may- maybe let's, uh, go through them rather quickly. Yes. Let's go through yours and tell me any notable ones that maybe it took you a long time to decide between or, uh, and I feel uncomfortable with this. Okay. So we're all clear. I don't, I don't love excited. mine either. I'm very excited because if I'm right, it's going to be great because I get to dunk on you and everybody. Okay. That'd be uh, interesting because I have, I feel like I have some surprising predictions. But if, if, if I'm wrong, I'm going to fall on my face really hard <laughs> <laughs> during this dunking process. Yeah. So who's, uh, who is the world driver's champion in 2020? Uh, Max Verstappen. I did go chalk there. Mm-hmm. Um, after watching the uh, uh, preseason testing and stuff, that last day, he, he, he opened was the it up. fastest, and it was not close. Yeah. And and I don't think they were even as fast as they could be. Yeah. So I feel pretty good about Max. And also, I believe Max is also the fastest driver. So I, I agree uh, with that. Yeah. Um, and Number two. Two. Two is a little shocking. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, Leclerc. Charles Leclerc. Wow. Charles Leclerc. Okay. Uh, and, and you've been pushing hard for Ferrari this yep. year. And after testing, what, I guess we'll look at your standings, but did, they, did Ferrari move up on any of yours? Um, I think they are... The thing that I've always pegged Ferrari for is consistency. Yeah. I think that they're right where they need to be. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so I did, I did Charles. Uh, okay. Then Lewis Hamilton. Okay, for third. Yeah. Yep. I, I... Yeah. Uh, this one I feel uncomfortable with, uh, but uh, Carlos Sainz. Ooh, the smooth operator. Okay. Yeah. I, not, no, not I agree. I, I think, think that's he's good. good. Um, I just like man, because that means George Russell is now behind him, mm-hmm. and Perez is now behind him, and I, I'll tell you I'm this: I'm not sure that uh, Leclerc is faster than Sainz. I think he is, but but it's not really. Sh- they are they are very neck and neck yeah. constantly, Ferrari. So I, I yeah, that that one's a. a, 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 a a toss up. So, Science, then George Russell. Okay. Then Sergio Perez. Okay. Uh, then we switch. That's pretty. To... That's a pretty precipitous drop for those number twos. Yes. Um, because I thought Perez was in the top top four la- in twenty one. Uh, I don't remember I exactly. He, but I think he might have finished there. Yeah. Um. So uh, okay. That, I can so Perez, I can see with George Russell. I was. just don't have. I like Perez. Actually, I don't. I don't like. Perez. <laughs> okay. He races for my team, and he in. Verstappen wins every single race, and he finishes like eighth. And, yeah, and I hate you. Because mm. if you would have finished at any point in the season, yeah, the, a the, few the, places higher, uh, Red Bull would have won it. Won the uh, yeah. constructors. That's true. Um, okay. Uh, and, uh, we switch over to Lando Norris. Okay. Okay. Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly. Danny yeah. Ricciardo. Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Kevin Magnussen. Okay. So that's up pretty high. Yeah. I. I. Uh, is Our, that is that your top ten? I think we we don't need the whole twenty. I think we we're just looking at the top ten, but and I think yeah, Magnus that, in the top ten. Okay, yeah, that the do, only doing the top ten made it very difficult because yeah. I feel like the top uh, six or eight places are pretty much going to be the same people. Yeah. So my my top ten uh, in first place uh, for Red Bull Racing, Max Verstappen. <laughs> yeah, baby. 
Yes. Uh, in second place, though, I think it's going to be Lewis Hamilton. Wait, say that first one again. <laughs> I believe Max Verstappen will be <laughs> yeah. the World Drivers Champion yeah, in right. 2022. Yeah, because right. I, I think I think George Russell will have a transition period. It yeah. will be a transition period for Mercedes, and uh, I think losing losing out on that number two will affect their strategy with Lewis. Yeah, and I'm not sure they're willing to let. So who's your number two? Uh, Lewis is my Lewis, number two. Okay. Yeah. Yes, because I, I agree. I'm not sure they're going to let. Uh, Lewis not be the number one driver this year. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's that. Uh, number three. This is this is my this is another hopeful oh, pick. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Are we, are we going Lando? I'm thinking Lando Norris could be the number three in the drivers' championship. <laughs> that would be. I would be <laughs> you, very excited. You, you know why? I think you're crazy. I. I uh, the part of the reason why is a Lando just did twice as many sessions as everybody else. Yep. Maybe not twice as much distance or laps during testing, but he did all of McLaren's testing. Yep. Um, and uh, the issues that McLaren have are not the porpoising issues. Yeah. Uh, they have brake issues and those, they can figure out brake yeah, issues. That's kind of my thought too. And their car seemed pretty fast. That's, to be honest, if I'm concerned about any of my picks, it's that I have McLaren too low. Mm. Uh, but see, I, I do, I, I am very skeptical about Daniel. I'll get, I'll, I'll get to him in a bit. Uh, uh, four, I, I think it's going to be Sergio okay. Perez in fourth. Yeah, I don't... Because yeah, um, he's... I think part of it is he's just in a good car. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, he he's not as fast as Max, but he's in a good he car. He will be in probably the second second to fourth fastest car on the grid. Yeah. I think... He should finish in the top four. I think he will get more podiums this year yeah. than he did I, last I year. I hope so, as a Red Bull fan. Yeah. Uh, number Number five... The smooth operator himself, Carlos Sainz. Okay. Yep. I have an inkling that Carlos is faster than Charles. Yep. I, yep. Um, but uh, actually, oh, I, I don't so, think he's faster. I think he's more consistent. Okay. Okay. I can see that. I mean, that that's reliability is the name of the game too. Yep. Um, normally, I keep the Ferraris one next next to each other, but I f I forgot that I put George Russell between them. Yeah. I put George Russell in that sixth. Makes sense. He's going to be in a very good car, uh, even if he'll be transitioning into the new system. Uh, he he he's got he, he's got a good car under him, and that is very helpful. Um, and then Charles Leclerc, um, and I I don't know Ferrari is such a wild card yeah. because their new aero does aerodynamics look cool. They look really I like their little ketchup <laughs> cup that they've got. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I think I think Carlos has got the I don't know. Watching watching the two of them in Drive to Survive made me go, oh, Carlos is really got a spark he does so. he does which is why ferrari picked him up yeah and a, a very good pick for it mm -hmm. uh, uh num so seven is charles leclerc number eight is daniel ricardo um yeah. him he's getting covid during good. testing having no minutes in that car yep and he's not going to be able to drive until maybe friday mm -hmm. if he tests negative yep. for covid um so uh i think that's gonna put him on the back foot yep and uh i don't think that he can handle the pressure like to be honest i the past couple of years, he's been... Sounds like you have a Perez on your team. I, w I, th I think we do have a Perez on the team. But if he can find a... If, if they can find a new dynamic where they are, instead of equal racers, yeah. where he's a support racer, yeah. um, I think that can help in the strategy. Um, but yeah, I just don't think he does well under pressure. I mean, w anyway. Um, number nine, Pierre Gasly. And I, yeah. and that's so weird because he did so, so well in 21. Um, but I think... I had him in eighth. Yeah. yeah. I, I think the shakeup uh, with the arrow is is going to galvanize that top pack. Yep. Um, and then top 10, one Sebastian Vettel. Yeah, I debated that. Yeah. Um, I, I picked Haas just because I wanted, in my overall team rankings, mm -hmm. I had Haas up higher, so I had to had to put the drivers up there to justify it. And I, and I think Kevin Magnussen will do good replacing Nikita Mazepin um, <laughs> for many reasons. And uh, But, but it, it, it's still, he's joining the team very late. Uh, he got some te he got testing in, which is good. But yeah. uh, he's he had been in another car spec last year. Even if he's comfortable with the team, it's going to be fun if Haas is up in the middle of the pack because wow. he's going to wreck everybody. Yeah, because he's going to door jam everybody. <laughs> it's I am be great. I I was very surprised how much getting rid of Nikita Mazepin has made me so ind endeared yes. to Haas. Yes, now. yes, I'm finally like I'm going to give me a Haas hat for two hundred dollars. I track. <laughs> I, felt like, I remember when we went to F1 last year, mm -hmm. uh, as I was leaving, I was looking at the at, uh, all the merch tents and stuff, and the <laughs> and I, I was, I'm kicking myself now because I had a bunch of Haas stuff in the discount yeah. clearance bin. Um, but now, 
I don't know. We got an American team. Yeah. I don't know. So. Yeah, with, with some drivers that you're willing to support. Yeah. Uh, also, in, in our predictions here, the last place driver. Yeah. This one, I think, was very difficult because I think that there are a lot of drivers who have potential, but I think will not be able to rec- realize it. And it's tough to say who's going to do the worst. It is, it um, is tough. I went with uh, Guan Yu Zhao. Okay. I think the that new, is... The, he, he's a rookie. A rookie driver. Uh, he's the only he's, rookie this year. Correct. And he's also in a car that has had horrific reliability issues mm. and will probably be towards the back. I, I don't feel that. great about that pick, but then again, like I, I've really fought with the two Williams boys, putting the two Williams boys down there just because I don't think their car is going to be great either. Yeah. I so def- Latifi and Albon. Yeah. Al- Albon will be interesting to see if if he can perform too because I'm out. I'm out on Albon. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. With uh, Red Bull and it failed epically, so he's out on me. Yeah. Uh, my last place... I gave it to Nicholas Latifi. Yeah. Um, it, it, that Williams car is not going to be good. Yep. Um, yep. I'd, I think if I had remembered Alex was on the team also this year, I probably would have picked him instead. But yeah. um, I, you know, Latifi seems like a nice guy, but he's just, he's on an, he can't, he can't outperform. And they, they can't give him a good car. Yeah. Like it, it, as, tr- as much as, you know, they got that new Did, principal. I do have, I have to ask a quick question right quick. Did yeah. you see the Vanity Fair interviews with some of the drivers? I did. Okay. You see the photo shoot? Yes. I'm going to pull this up. So, which one had the the best looks or yeah. the worst looks? Because me and the wife were up at midnight last night watching this, and we were... <laughs> the, the looks are hilarious. They are very... Um, uh, they're vanity, very Vanity Fair? Very Vanity Fair. Uh, Lando Norris doing his like young Toms of Finland, Ooh. and then this like circus master guy. I don't know. Um... Daniel looked okay. Daniel Daniel's is all right. Yeah, do you know who I actually liked? I, okay, see, I haven't seen all the pictures. I saw the pink jumpsuit. Hey, the pink jumpsuit is pretty interesting. I don't like the the cuffed or the the sock in with the in the in the pant leg there. Yeah. See, uh, uh, my wife liked uh, George Russell's outfit. Okay, yeah, He's, I kind of liked uh, Ocon's. Ocon's. Oh yeah, uh, Ocon uh, knows uh, knows what he's working with. Yeah, because he he was just very. He's Great oh, so smoldery. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Did you see that? Which, which is the one? Does he have the one? Uh, they have the picture of him and just the, the, no, they don't. The tan no. suit with his gold rim glasses. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Yeah. Um, I love Pierre also uh, did, you know, for, for being on the fashion team, um, I think Pierre managed to. Uh, which one are we going on a date with, man? Uh, which one? Are I? Oh. Yeah, which one? I mean, personality and I got to know. Oh. Uh, it, it would probably be Daniel, I think. I think because we are closer in age, yeah. and even though he's a very like Type A personality, yeah. I feel like uh, I'm a type of personality who can handle. He would type be a A's. fun. He would be a fun night. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh so yeah. Uh, so oh, the other thing, I I just set this up while we were getting set up, but um, and you're welcome to to participate. Everybody is. I've created an F1 fantasy league. Ooh. Uh, Fantasy.formula1.com is the official thing. It's free. Um, I've got, I, I just tweeted out the link. Um, okay, great. You have to use the invite code, but it's open. You can do up to two teams uh, and you pick, you pick five drivers and a team, you buy them. Yep. Um, and then uh, you get like 12 substitutions in a year. Okay. Um, so well, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. I, I think it's neat. So I've got me and my buddies have got one, but I've got one open here. The diamond paddock is the name of the league. So um, nice. uh, it's on my Twitter. The link is at, at Brightkiss. It'll be there, um, and I'll post it in the Discord after this. But I'm excited for everybody to come in behind me. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Corey, for uh, some critical racing theory. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for joining me here in the Green Room Great Room pre-show. Citrus Notes is saying that uh, a date with Ricardo is the best way to make sure you end up down under. Very cute. It's very fun. Thank you. <laughs> it's very clever. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, we will get started in just another minute on uh, the Great Night program. Uh, a couple of things. Remember, patreon.com slash great night is where you can go and support us. You'll get a bonus episode four or five times a month. Uh, I don't know why I expected to, like, to get an applause break for that. Uh, so we have four to five bonus episodes uh, a month there uh, exclusively. Plus, you can see all of, uh, hear all the old ones. Uh, it's, it's great. We have a bunch of fun stuff. If you liked any of the happy hour stuff, it's very similar to that. Uh, so check that out. Um, Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. Make sure you join us in there. We've got a Wordle channel if you're a subscriber or a patron. And, uh, 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 and it's a lot of fun. So check us out there. 
All right, we're gonna do one last check and make sure everybody's okay. Brian, you good? Yeah. Justin. Yeah, yeah. Let's... Oh, right. The clock has, has to be sprung, sprung forward. We spring forward, right? Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Jeff and Annalisa. Good. Good. All right. Uh, Brett. Ooh. Hello, friend. Oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, the chat. Are you ready? Uh, all right. Hey, and Tabulous. Well, thank you so much for joining us here. We'll get started in just a minute with the Great Night Program. Here we go. Oh, Brett, I'll count you in. Mm -hmm. 